Hey guys, it's Jake Bushy, agronomist with Concept Agritech. Coming from a cornfield here today, we're in the thumb of Michigan. And uh, as you can see, we're pretty far along in the growing season. We're uh, roughly at about uh, R5, so dent stage right now. And this is the time of year where, you know, as growers, we sit back on our heels. We've done, we feel that we've done all that we can and we let mother nature do the rest. We let, we let the plant dry down and we wait for harvest. Now, this is probably one of the most important times for us to get out in our fields. And what we wanna be looking for is, is how is that plant doing at this point in time? So as we get close to physiological maturity, there's not a whole lot that we can do. Now what we can assess is, is how well did our nutrient program get us to the finish line? So two of the main nutrients that we think about when we think of the idea of drying down is nitrogen and potassium. That's where that idea of firing up comes from, right? So, you know, if we're at tassel or a little bit after and we see a nitrogen or potassium deficiency, we know that that's probably yield limiting. At this point, the plant is drying down. It's pulling nutrients from the bottom and bringing it up to that ear. As we are obviously feeding that ear, that is what that plant is trying to push all of its energy for. Nitrogen and potassium look very different in the way that they show their, on their leaves. And it's going to be in a V pattern on both ways. So on potassium, you're gonna see a V-shaped yellowing pattern, but on the outside margin of the leaf. On nitrogen, you're gonna see a V-shaped pattern starting at the tip, but working its way down the vein of the leaf. When you get out in your field, take a look at these things and consider them. Now, there are some other things to consider when we think about nitrogen and potassium. Obviously, if we're in a water limited environment at this time, of course, we're gonna see these uh, become a deficiency as potassium only moves within soil solution and nitrogen works a lot in the same way as well. Um, you know, some of the other things that we can think about too is, is if the top part of our canopy is yellowing, we know that that also isn't necessarily nitrogen. A lot of times if we're looking at the upper part of a canopy, that is sulfur that we're deficient in. So obviously these nutrients are some of the major ones that you know we apply throughout the growing season and that we think about in terms of big dollars that we spend on the farm. But what is the best way to have a good understanding of where our plant is at all season long is to pull tissue tests. They're fairly affordable. To pull a tissue test once every couple weeks throughout the growing season helps you get as a grower get an idea of where, as you made those nutrient applications, how your plant responded, and maybe how you, what you can best spend your money on next year. So before we get the combines rolling, let's get out in our fields and let's take a look at where our plants are at right now so we can make a better program moving forward next year. Hope you guys have a safe and happy harvest. Take care.